Hi guys, it's Mischievous. Welcome back to the channel. I am back for my yearly hiatus and today we are going to be doing a deep dive into the classic spring festival. So for those of you who are new or who are just not very familiar with the adventure, the wiki is a really good place to start because it can tell you the walkthrough, the rewards and where to find the flower waterings. But I really love this event because it has some really amazing prizes. So you can get prizes from the lily pad hop the flower dance either of the five waterings or collecting all a hundred eggs so here are the prizes we've got mushrooms flowering trees for the first 15 eggs we have square hedge stone pathway and rose garden for the second prize we have a circular hedge lily pad table and lily pad chair for the third prize fourth and final prize we have a pile of eggs golden egg prize and an egg on display even though this adventure is literally an easter egg hunt, I tend to not collect any of the eggs because for one, it can cause a lot of stress when you've got like the last few eggs to go and you can't find them and also the prizes aren't that great, like you can just buy some of them at Surfia Forest. So for me personally, I just like to focus on the flower waterings. So the lily pad hop. You can get a swelling hedge, the flower arrangement, the cascading lily, or the spring eggplant. The swelling hedge is a guaranteed for the non-members prize, but these three are given to you by chance for the members chest prize. I love the cascading lily. I think it is absolutely stunning. However, it's quite hard to get repetitively because you need another person to hop with you and often it's quite hard to get some people who are in the middle of their egg journey to hop with you. So I highly recommend getting a friend if you are trying to collect the cascading lily to hop with you over and over again. Now I don't tend to do the flower dance just because again I'm not really interested in the prizes but basically you can get the daisy pinwheel which is the guaranteed non-member prize. For the member prize you can get either the spring window the cattail lamp or the giant basket of candy. Okay, the flower waterings, which is what I mainly focus on. So for the first flower watering, we have the butterfly wall art, which is the guaranteed non-members prize. And then for the members prize, you can either get the flowering orange tree, flowering plum tree, or the wood bird bath. And for the second flower watering, we have the guaranteed daffodil flower bed, or you can get for the members prize, the spring flower wreath, the spring lamp post, or the spring egg tree. For the third flower watering, you can get the Pachina flower bed, the, which is the guaranteed prize, a gazebo, the egg chair, or the spring egg rug. For the fourth watering, you can get the daisy wall art, which is a guaranteed. For the members prize, you can get the trellis, the watering pail planter, or the egg window. And finally, we have the fifth flower watering, which you can either get a flower in a vase, the flower wind chime, the circular wind chime, or the chocolate egg. Something that I think that is so important for this event is that you know which prizes that you want and so you're not collecting everything and running around the map and wasting so much time going between prizes when you could just beeline to the exact prize that you want. So for example, I usually go for the Cascading Lily or the Woodbird Bath, the Spring Lamp Post, the Gazebo or the Trellis. That way I know what I want and I can go get it the fastest way possible. Before we join the Spring Festival, we need to make sure that we're in a full world. Yes, this will cause a bit of lag in the event, but you need to ensure that there are other players in there so that the map doesn't change. This is particularly important if you're collecting the flower waterings because those positions can change. And if you're going after a specific flower watering, say flower watering number one, it could appear in any corner of the map. So, if you're trying to collect it over and over again, you want to make sure that the map isn't changing. The way you can do this is by going into a world that's full to ensure that there's people in the event and then going to your den so you don't get kicked out of this world when you leave the adventure and then want to come back. This will just ensure that you stay in, for me it's Danube, and that the map won't change and you don't need to deal with that headache. Okay, so straight off the bat I can see that there are people in here which means it is all good. This is especially helpful if you want to do the hopping in the top left or the dance in the bottom left. Okay, so say I want to get the trellis. Now I know that the trellis is in flower watering number four because I've looked at the wiki. However, I do not currently know the position of flower watering number four. So I'm going to have to go and check. Now I have created some maps to help you guys navigate your way to the flower waterings. I have five different maps in total, however I'm not too sure 
if I have missed any combinations. I probably have because I've only been playing this for a few days. Um, but yeah, I'll put them in this video and you guys can screenshot them if you want. Okay, so we found a flower watering. This top right flower petal on the map seems to have the most flower waterings. Like I always go here first to check which flower watering there is. And so if we water it, Okay, we've got the flower in a vase, which means we are currently looking at flower watering number five. So, if I go to my map, uh, I can see that there's a flower watering number five in the petal that I'm in. And so, if I'm following my map, I know that the trellis is going to be in the left flower petal. So, let's follow it. Now that we know the combination, it should not be a problem to go and find the egg watering that I want. And then I can continuously exit the adventure and come back and get more trellises. It's also important to note that there aren't any water sources in the bottom right or the right petal, which is quite annoying because there are often flower waterings in those corners of the map. This should be flower watering number four. So we could potentially get the trellis here. If not, we can just come back and water it again. And we did indeed get the trellis. So if you say you wanted more than one trellis, exit the adventure. And I'm in my den, so I'm in the same world. So I will rejoin the exact same map. So I know the location of the flower watering. And then I can just fly straight directly to it. Okay, will I get the trellis? That is the question. I did! Wow, two for two. But it is a one out of three chance to get um, the member prize that you want. So just keep that in mind. If you're interested in the flower waterings, here are my maps. So here's the first, the second, the third, the fourth. And here you can see that there are actually two flower waterings in the maze. So it's actually really tricky to get water to those. So you're going to need to go to the maze with a pail of water, either from the center or from one of the other petals on the map. And then you're going to have to go back to the nearest source of water, which I think is in the center of the map, to water the second flower watering in there, if you want it. And then here's the fifth map. And I have also color coded these according to the primary colors that I thought the flower waterings were. So for example, flower watering one is pink. And if you see here, flower watering one has predominantly pink colors. So I hope you guys found this useful. And if you've been sitting through this entire video and you're thinking, oh, the prizes are really cute, but I don't know if I can be bothered to do that, then don't you worry, you are in luck. I'm actually selling some of them in my den for less than five diamonds or five diamonds. So yeah, come have a look. I will be restocking these shops, by the way. I just had quite a busy morning, to be honest. So yeah. And that is it for the Spring Festival Deep Dive. I hope you guys found this helpful. And now you are fully equipped to slay the Spring Festival. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you found this useful as I will come out with more content, specifically the Lucky Clovers, soon. So stay tuned. See ya. Bye.